From Austin's news station, this is KPU News Daybreak. In this morning's Health View, nearly a third of America's children have never been to an eye doctor. How would you know if your child was having vision problems that could affect their learning? Dr. Andrea Thau from the American Optometric Association is here with some reminders as we head back to school. Good morning. Good morning. So a recent study shows that uh, we parents don't know all that much about vision problems in children. That's true. The American IQ survey that was commissioned by the American Optometric Association showed that most parents were not aware of the fact that vision is such an important part of a child's learning and that it's an important part of the back-to-school preparation. The main problem is knowing that children are even having vision problems. What are some of the signs? Well, behavior problems can actually be an indication of vision problems as well. The American IQ survey showed that 44% of parents did not know that. Children who have trouble seeing may act out, may have difficulty attending to seeing things up close, have trouble writing, uh, reading, etc. And it's really important for parents to ensure that their child has good vision. The only way to do that is with a comprehensive eye exam by a doctor of optometry. Now we hear about vision screenings. How are those different than exams? Vision screenings are cursory tests that basically measure far vision and near vision in terms of clarity of sight, but they leave out a lot of very important things like focusing, eye tracking, eye coordination, and eye health, and things that have a huge impact on learning. It's estimated, actually, that 80% of learning takes place by way of vision. It's something you just don't want to take for granted. You bet. And doctors during the eye exam can, can tell a lot about other health problems that may be happening in children. It's true. The eye is a fascinating organ. It's the only part of the body that we can actually see blood vessels without cutting you open. So we're actually able to detect general health problems like high blood pressure and diabetes hmm. and other things that can be life-threatening. And once a year is when we're supposed to have those exams for should us have those exam kids? Yes, you should have those exams every one to two years. It's very important because vision demands change over time and vision develops over time. It's important to ensure that both children and adults have the right kind of vision that they need to be able to function well. You know, some of the warnings and, and things have changed a lot since I was a kid. My mom used to tell me to stay away from the television, don't get too close, eat your carrots. Are there behaviors and foods even that we can eat to uh, improve our eye health? Yes, it's important. The American IQ survey showed that 77% of adults mistakenly thought carrots were the best food to eat. In fact, dark leafy vegetables are the best for the eyes. Uh, try to have a half a cup of spinach four to five times a week to prevent developing macular degeneration later in life. And it is important to have good what we call visual hygiene, which is taking rest breaks with your eyes. You don't want to read or use the computer for prolonged periods of time without looking up and looking away and letting your eyes take a break. Thanks so much. Hopefully this will help a lot of kids out there as they start thank the you. school year. Dr. Thao, appreciate it. Thank you for having me. All right, thank you so much.